Hello everybody, welcome to another AOM Academy video. Today we are going to talk about hotkeys and control groups. So first we're going to talk about what, what they are, then how to use them, how to set them up, why they're useful, and eventually get to a couple little tips and tricks at the very end. So first of all, what is a hotkey? A hotkey is any action that is bound to a key on your keyboard. So for example, I have my town center selected. I click V on my keyboard and boom. Well, I click it twice and I build two villagers. Or I have my Ulfsark selected. I click D, T for a temple, D for a dock. I can place a dock and instantly start creating the dock. So like I said, it's an action. Doesn't matter if it's creating a unit, creating a building, whatever that I do or that happens, an action that is executed from clicking a button on my keyboard. Okay? So how do you set up hotkeys? Well, if you are if you're playing on extended edition on Steam, you click the little game settings cog right here. If you're playing in the base game, you just go through options and go into the game settings that way. Regardless how you get there, you click the edit hotkeys button here in the game settings. Okay? You can see here depending on the context, well it shows you all the different contexts like dock tra unit training units from a dock and it goes into each individual civilization or I mean a observer mode hotkeys little actions that you can do if you're an observer even unit stances so you go into your game settings here and you can either use the default hotkeys or change them to a custom setup however you want so I say the default hotkeys every game your game comes with default hotkeys so for example building a barracks is B building a farm with a villager is F a dock with D they're all pretty intuitive, pretty obvious. F for farm, S for stable, T for temple, etc. Um, not all of them are completely intuitive, like town center is Z, but generally they're pretty good. So you can use the default hotkeys and just learn the default hotkeys, or you can set up a custom layout. Now one example of a custom layout would be a grid system. So for example, I have my I have my town center selected here. And of course this is going to be different depending on your keyboard, where are you from, where you live in the world, what language you speak, what type of keyboard you have. But for example, a grid system would be the leftmost key on my keyboard is Q. Okay? And so the left I could bind Q when I have my TC selected with the leftmost unit to create. So Q for villager, W for dwarf, E for ox cart, R for um, Ulfsark. I could, just like with um, the same thing with buildings. Okay, if I have my Ulfsark selected, Q for, um, Q for settlement, or TC, W for house, E for dock, R for wall, T for temple, and then the next row, a for um, armory, and as I age up, I would get more buildings. So it would be A, S, D, F, G, etc. Okay. So you can set up a grid system, which a custom grid system, which it makes perfect sense. It's a good idea. Makes sense. Now, ultimately, it doesn't really matter what your setup is. What's most important is that you practice your hotkeys. Okay. Now, it usually takes people 10, 20 games something around there. Depends on how f often you play. But it usually takes people around that long to set up their hotkeys, learn them, get comfortable with them, etc. Okay. It all depends on you as a player. How often you play and whatnot. Um, again, eventually you want to practice them so that you don't even have to think about pushing D to build a new dock. Okay. You don't even have to think about it or T for a new temple. You don't even think about it, you just immediately do it. That's what's most important, okay? F for fish and ship, for example. That's what's most important. So again, hotkeys, 
you edit them in the game settings and those it's an action or whatever that is bound to a specific key on your keyboard so control groups what is a control group a control group is a type of hotkey okay you set up your hotkeys in the game settings whereas control groups you set up those during the game okay they're completely customizable that you set up during the game so for example I have my Ulsark. I can um, I can set him to the number five key on my keyboard by selecting him, holding Shift and pressing five on my keyboard. Or my group of Hersir, I can set him to six. I hold select all three of them, hold Shift, press six. Okay. Um, control groups you bind to numbers, the number keys on your keyboard. Okay. So you can see up in this little corner here, number five for my Ulfsark, number six for my Hersir, okay? And they're called control groups because people usually, um, they usually, players usually use these types of hotkeys um, for groups of military buildings, groups of army, groups of raiders, that type of thing, okay? And again, they're completely customizable during the game. So, here, let's age up real quick get a couple of military buildings going. Anyways, each individual control group that you have, they um, show up on these little banners up here in the corner. And technically you can select the banner to select the hot or select the group, but that's really not the whole point of using hotkeys. Anyways, they're completely customizable. So if I have my um, group of longhouses on two, I have my temple on four, I can switch it so that my longhouses and my temple are all on four by doing the same thing. Holding shift, selecting all of them, and then clicking four. Okay? Same thing, I have my Hersir on six. I can add all of my units onto six by just selecting them, or shift and selecting six. And then I can pull this guy back out to five if I want to. So they're completely customizable during the game. Um, they control groups, they're there you add them to numbers yeah okay they're slightly different compared to hotkeys now one purpose let's start getting into the purposes to start using hotkeys and control groups well first of all so i have my raiders right here right let's say i have my raider set to five my little builder set to six longhouses to two Let's say, just for hypothetically, I have my raiding party right here on this gold mine, and I'm sitting here raiding this gold mine, and I'm microing my, microing my raiders, and I'm trying to, you know, block units, block villagers to kill more, yada yada yo. Um, I can select two to select, or click two to select my longhouses, click C um, to start building more raiding cavalry, and without even moving my screen, boom. I'm already creating, each time I click it, I'm creating three new raiding cavalry as long as I have the resources, um, one from each longhouse, okay? And so I don't even move my screen, I'm sitting here raiding, I'm raiding, I'm attacking, I'm fighting, blah 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 blah, I'm doing all that, all at the same time. So it allows you to play faster, to play more efficiently, to do things, more things at the same time. Um, by using both of your hands to play instead of only your mouse, by clicking around only with your mouse. Okay, now let's select all my raiders, five, there we go. So, yes, it allows you to do more things at the same time. Now, like I said, if I click two, there's an important difference between hotkeys and control groups. First of all, control groups, if I press two, or four, or five, it selects the unit or buildings or whatever, okay, whoops, without moving my screen. Whereas with a hotkey, if I click my hotkey once, it actually moves my screen. So I click H for my town center, and it moves my screen to the town center. I click 5, which is a control group, for my raiders, and it only selects them. If I want to move my screen to the raiders, I have to press the control group number key twice. OK? 
Okay, so that's a slight different difference between hotkeys and control groups. So having said that, you can use that so that, I mean, like I said, while you're raiding, you're sitting here, you're microing, you're attacking, blah, 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 blah. I mean, even though uh, my enemy doesn't have actual units here, but that's not the point. It's just an illustration. So I could be doing that and not move my, um, I can be doing all of this, creating units at the same time, whoops, and not having to move my screen or click around the minimap to move or scroll around to move my screen. Likewise, I could be doing that and maybe I want to instantly jump back to my TC to manage my economy. So I can use hotkeys to jump around um, to jump around the to jump around the map as well. Okay. Depending on what I want to do. Now, there is one thing I want to point out. Um, even though these longhouses are in a control group, number two, I can still cycle through them, and you can set this as a hotkey. You can cycle through each one individually to create one unit at a time instead of just selecting all of them at the same time through a control group, okay? And the default cycling through, or it's, it's called finding a building, um, the default hotkey for that is holding control and then selecting whatever hotkey that building is to build it. So B, see if I'm holding control, I cycle through each one individually. And you can do that similar to like just clicking H for a TC. Oops. Okay, similar to clicking H for TC, you can cycle through buildings, there we go, by using control. That's a hotkey. Okay, so you can use control groups to select things without moving the screen. Likewise, you can use hotkeys to actually jump your, um, jump your screen around the map. Okay, so again, it's a speed thing. It's all about a speed. It's the whole purpose of this is to be doing its speed and multitasking. You want to be doing multiple things all at the same time, hopefully to do more things than your opponent. Um, again, all at the same time. If you're doing more actions, if your opponent is sitting here only using his mouse, he selects the town center, creates individual units, and then he has to maybe scroll over or even click on the minimap and then select his raiding cavalry to go click and then click back over here to select these guys and go over here. All use only using his mouse, whereas you know you could be doing this. There, I just basically did the same thing all without these guys aren't part of the control group. There we go. Anyways, all without moving my screen, all doing that in a split second instead of 10 seconds. Okay, so it's doing things a heck of a lot faster, more efficiently, etc. Okay, there we go. So, quick recap. Hotkeys, you set them up in the game settings, okay? And those are letter keys on your keyboard that are bound to bound to a specific action, creating units, creating buildings, um, etc. Different formations of units. Control groups are set in-game, they're customizable, they're set to your numbers, and they show up on these little banners up here. Okay? You can go 1 through or 1 through 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Um, now, one quick tip and trick that I want to add for the very end. Keen Gaming did, they did a good video on hotkeys as well, and so they explain, I'll link to this video below, there's no point in us both having the same, um, the same thing, I'll link to the video in the description below, but you can add a hotkey to opening the, um, the advance, I guess the age advance screen, and also a hotkey to toggle auto queue. Now if, of course, if you're playing the Steam version, there you can actually um, let's see it's the selection category. You can actually toggle auto queue um, through if you're playing on Steam in the extended edition. If you're playing the base game Age of Titans, of course auto queue does not exist um, for just the base game. But if you're playing Age uh, the Titans expansion, um, you'll have to custom add a custom little file to your game to be able to use the age up hotkey and also um, and also the auto queue hotkey. For those of you guys that don't know what auto queue is, if you select auto queue, 
then a building automatically creates units for you. So there you go, it creates a villager and it's automatically creating another one. Again, this is all, auto queue is only available in the expansions, so the Titan expansion and the Steam expansions. Okay, so in the future, I want to see more people, more players, setting up your hotkeys, using hotkeys efficiently, playing a lot faster, etc. Okay, and once again, check out Keen Gaming's video for more little tips on uh, setting up hotkeys. Um, I suppose that's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And yeah, stay tuned for another uh, another AOM Academy video in the future.